Hey guys. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to Whim Wednesday night, y'all. Whimsical Wednesday is not so super whimsical tonight. Um, this is so weird what Facebook is doing. <laughs> it's given me a little tiny section of myself painting so I can see myself. And then it's doing it up here too. Like, I don't know how to get rid of that. Anyway, hey, Carrie. Hi there. Hi. Um, so I'm in my own bathroom and I started this because y'all know I'm a Dixie Belle brand ambassador. So I was over on the Dixie Belle page and we're supposed to do uh, something in our bathroom last week, but I missed last week. And then I did my friend's bathroom on Monday night. And then tonight was supposed to be in the bedroom, but I didn't have anything to paint in my bedroom. But my master bathroom was attached to my bedroom, so I thought that was close enough. So, hey, Kari. Hi there, hun. Um, and Sue, hello. Good to see you. So good to see you. Michelle, you're joining me over here. So, look, I took the knobs off. So, this is what I've done so far. This is what my knobs look like. I'm gonna keep them. This is the knobs. I've had them about 12 years and I like them. I've done this so far and that side I have not done. So this is the dividing line. Can you see the difference between this color and this color? So this is actually called Sawmill Gravy and it's the color of my, hey Allie, it's the color of my uppers in my kitchen. Um, and this is it right here. So. I'm going to keep on going because my goal is to get done before. I know. Thank you, Carmen. I, I, they're about 12 years old. Aren't they awesome? I got these when Sadie was about two. Um, actually, you know what? That's not true. I just realized. Shoot. I lied. It was a mistake over on Dixie Bell. We did this when Sadie was about two, and it had the regular silver knobs on there from the factory. It was an espresso color with these just regular bread, like brush nickel knobs. And then, um, hey Maureen, and then um, when I repainted it is when I did these, but I don't know, it's been a long time. It's probably been eight years, I'm gonna say eight years. So that's that, that's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like that. So all I've done is one coat so far and uh, it's got great coverage. It really does have great coverage. Matt does not know that I'm doing this. Um, I'm gonna move on down, but there's, I just wanted to add a little bit more there because I not need it. Anyway, it's really fast, easy to do. Um, I did my girlfriend's and I was like, why do I not just go ahead and do my own? It needed it. It needed some serious freshening up. Gonna be pretty. It's very simple, right? I was really concerned because people sounded excited that I was gonna do this. They were like, oh, it's a big blank canvas, right? If it were gonna be a feature piece in, um, you know, like I like, I have some, some good crazy pieces in the house, but not in my bathroom. I, I like my bathroom to be very zen, very just, you know, I wanna soak in my tub and feel like I'm in a hotel. I want it to be super zen. So I think I am gonna go back. Do y'all see how I lightly distressed the edge here? I'm not a big distressed person and I kind of like it without it, but I just feel like it's not practical in the bathroom because these drawers are opened and closed a lot. And I feel like if I go ahead and just distress the edge just somewhat, it gives it kind of a beachy feel and um, then if they get if they do get nicked a little bit it's not going to be a big deal but i painted this last color three years ago and they haven't nicked at all this ring that you see around it it was actually from the hardware but the same hardware is going in so i didn't have to sand sand that off and y'all know why that ring is so prevalent because i don't wait to get my knobs on i don't wait long enough I don't let it dry long enough. It's like I, I put a coat on, I put a coat on, I put a top coat on, and I stick my knobs back on. And that is that. And it leaves that big indention. It is really pretty. Pretty. Pretty pretty. So, um, Carrie, you like it distressed? You know, I, I like distress. It's just not, I just don't have it in my house. I used to. 
I used to have it a lot. I didn't think about if I had to open my drawers, like what's in my what's in my cabinets and in my drawers. What's in this one? Y'all want to know? Let's see. Let's see. What do we have in here? We have a case for a Sonicare toothbrush. We have another case for a Sonicare toothbrush. We have a bag that my sister-in-law made me a long time ago. And I used, it had a gift in it at the time. This is all my foot care stuff. Look, all this kind of stuff. All these things. Yep. How would you call it? Pumice, pumice stone? These kind of things. Remember these pet, pet eggs or whatever? Oh my gosh. Who does this anymore? I just go get my feet done. This little thing. Yep. What else is in here? A loofah. Oh, and a hair cutting, a hair cutting um, cape for all those times that I don't cut people's hair anymore. I used to cut people's hair all the time. Did y'all know that? No, I've not been to cosmetology school. Yes, I've been cutting people's hair since I was about, for my 12th birthday, my mom got me my own set of hair cutting scissors my uh, own set of like hair, the little jaw clamps to hold, you know, part hair into sections, and uh, a cape. I had that cape forever too. Yeah, that was pretty brave of my mom, wasn't it? She was really encouraging me to cut other people's hair. I mean, I, I would die if Sadie came home and said a friend, someone cut her hair. <laughs> They're 12 years old. They're like, what's her number? Let me call her mother. We got glitched. We got glitched. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. Oh, wow. We have a good number of people in here. So, anyway, does anyone have any questions about what I'm doing? I painted, um, y'all want to know what's in this drawer? Y'all want to know what's in this drawer? Uh, I painted my girlfriend, or I went to my girlfriend's house on Monday night and coached them. I don't like to do whole cabinet jobs anymore, but I will go over and coach someone through like a section and take the, I'll take my own paints and show them how they work, how to use them. And then I sit there and I help them order online after we've gone through. I don't do it that often, but I did do it with her and it was fun. We had a really good time and uh, they were so impressed with how easy the paint was to use. They, they hire people to do stuff, everything. They don't do a lot of their inside stuff, especially paintings. Becky's got painters all the time. But um, they did it, I was so proud of them. They were like, this paint's so easy. I'm like, I know. Becky was like, why doesn't everybody paint their own cabinets? I was like, I don't know, that they're, they're too afraid. They're afraid and they don't need to be. Paint's come a long way. That's what I said over on Dixie Bell. Paint has come a long way, people. Dixie Bell paint has really, uh, the chalk mineral paint really changed the market. They really did. They made DIY easy. This paint, I just think everybody can be a rock star at painting. You just have to believe it. You have to have, you have to be brave and try. So normally I'm spritzing and spraying with water, but there are so many drawers that I found that if I was spritzing with water, it was just running down between the drawers. I didn't feel like I had good control. And I don't mind it being thicker anyway. It's a bathroom. I'd rather it be a little bit thicker than it than normally when I'm trying to blend colors together. I'm not blending any colors here. I'm not being, you know, artistic. I'm just cleaning it up. Looks good. Looks really good. Uh, let's see. I've, I've had my back to y'all. Um, what color is that? Oh, I guess I should tell you that. This is sawmill gravy. This was Savannah Mist. This one was Savannah Mist. Can y'all tell that this is the knob that is used to open this door and that that is makeup fingers. It didn't even come off with white lightning. That is having a teenage daughter who has lots of makeup on her hands. Um, can't wait to own my own home so I can paint cabinets. Oh, I know that feeling, Ellie. I lived, um, when I was single with my kids, um, we lived in apartments and rent houses for a long time. Long, 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 long time. Uh, only one rent house. The rest were all apartments. And I, oh my gosh, I was just jonesing to, to, uh, 
decorate, you know, do walls, paint walls and stuff like that. You can't do that in, in apartments. So when I got the rent house, I asked the lady, the owner, I was like, would you care if I painted your walls in different colors? I was just dying to put color. This is my cabinet. Oh, pretty sure I just dropped paint on my... So I have a small brush in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I actually like using a small brush when I'm leaving the inside of the door, the natural color, so my bristles don't go over to the back side. Anyway, she told me I could. So I did like the guest bath with red walls. I painted big ginormous flowers with uh, positive quotes all over them, like uh, words of affirmation for Haley and her room. <laughs> I painted my bedroom like a, a wine color. I went crazy in that house. And then when it was, came time to move, I had to paint it all back. And that's when I moved into this house. That's when I bought this house. Finally bought the house. So yeah, I, I know what you mean, Allie. I do. Super easy. Um, I sold my house in Texas last year and I moved back to Oklahoma. I painted, painted rental before. I did stripes in an apartment. You did? I didn't read the rest of that. Did you? And they didn't care? Did they not care? I'm going to see if I can move this without it glitching. I'll go like that. How's that? Okay, so I only have four hinges because there's only two doors, um, and I'm just painting around the hinges. I didn't tape them or anything. I'm just painting around them. Oh, I know what I was saying is that I think I will probably distress the edges again. I like the espresso that comes through, uh, but I'm doing this first, and I will just come back in and spray it with a little bit of water and use the sanding sponge, Dixie Bell sanding sponge and do that. So as long as y'all follow along, y'all know I always take before and after pictures and I will always share this project when I'm done. Did I ever answer what the color this was? Did I even say? It's sawmill gravy. This is sawmill gravy. So I have in my kitchen, uh, my uppers in my kitchen are sawmill gravy and my lowers are caviar. So this is actually, what I did was I painted um, like four different colors of, of with just a swatch. And I chose my favorite and then I called my 14 year old. She has a really good eye for color as well, color and uh, decor. And it took her, she had trouble between two colors, but then I didn't tell her what my favorite was and she chose mine as well. So I was like, oh, that's a done deal. Totally doing that. We both chose the same color. Do that? No. Oh, that's been on there a long time. Look at that. That's from a long time ago. All right. Um, Barbara and Nancy in Virginia. Did we lose? Did I lose some of y'all? Then y'all come back out like all of a sudden. All of a sudden, there's more uh, new people on. So I have for Whimsical Wednesday next week, you guys, I have an armoire. So this is something I wanted to tell y'all too. So I have a gorgeous, gorgeous bed that I just bought locally. And I don't buy furniture unless I have a client for it, but I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up because I've already painted one of these not that long ago. And when I did, it was my client's bed. People said, if you ever come across one of those, I want a bed like that. I don't remember who said that. So I bought it. So do y'all like it when I post stuff online? Do y'all like it when I say I have this available? Do y'all like that? I feel weird about that. <gasps> I'll be honest, you are? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Where? Where are you? Are you moving here for work? Where are you moving? It's a big state, you know. Tell me where you're going. What color? Uh, Karen, that was, this color down here was, um, oh, Savannah Mist. Savannah Mist. I was watching you on the 70 inch TV and it quit mirroring. <laughs> so you had to go from that to this. Now I'm like the size of a postage stamp. Uh, please pray coming out next week to look around. Oh, in the Dallas area. Bless your heart, Aviance. <gasps> oh. You know, if it's meant to be, it will be. I am so excited for you. 
super excited for you. Someone asked if this leaves brush strokes. So let me move my camera so I can talk to y'all a little bit and keep working here. Now y'all can see my toilet. Uh, so it will if you put it on, I'm gonna be completely honest. Well, of course, you're brush painting and if you put it on too thick, you will get some brush strokes. So you don't wanna go super thick. You need to go thinner, thinner layers are good. And then if you add water to it, you really seriously will not get any brush strokes, but I'm not adding any water. Um, brush strokes just don't bother me. Now, I don't like it to look like nasty cheap with nasty brush strokes, but they don't bother me. I'm not real wigged out by them because in my opinion, it's art. I mean, it's not, I'm not trying to act like it's a factory finished piece. So I'm okay with having a few brush strokes, but Dixie Belle's paint is self-leveling and it's very minimal, very, very minimal for beginners even. Even if you put it on too thick, it's they're, they're, they might be there, they're minimal. But if I were to be using my water like this and spritzing as I go, it just, it just melts it. It melts like melted butter and it just goes on, it, it goes on so easily and you have very, 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 well, you don't, you really end up with no brush strokes that way. But I'm not using water. Yay, looks good. All right, I'm gonna take these knobs off. Um, let's see, uh, what cabinet paint do you suggest? I was thinking about Rust-Oleum cabinet kit. Ah. Um, Virginia, okay, so you're asking me, and I am a, uh, I'm a Dixie Belle brand ambassador, so, of course, I'm going to tell you Dixie Belle paint, but I'm also very honest, and I'm going to tell you if something works or doesn't work. So, I've painted tons of kitchen cabinets and tons of bathroom cabinets. I don't do them as a job anymore. Um, it's a lot of work, but um, Dixie Belle paint is the best paint I've ever used on cabinets. So, it goes on easily. It makes everyone feel like a professional. Um, it holds up really well. It's what's on my own kitchen cabinets. Um, it's what's on my friend's kitchen cabinets. So I really, really, really like them. Really like it. It's easy to put on. It's water-based, easy cleanup. I don't know. I've never used the rust -Oleum kit. So I don't, is anybody, has anyone used that? Um, I've never used the antiquing kit. Dixie Belle is a one-stop shop. They have lots and lots and lots of waxes and glazes and, man, I can't get that out. Hold on. There we go. What's in this drawer? Hairbrushes. Lounge hairbrushes. Oh, you know what else is in this drawer? Let me show you. Oh, it's stuck. This was my mom's, and it's broken. The handle's broke. But my mother's, my sweet mother's, I think it was one of her wedding gifts. It's old, old, old. My mother passed away about 13 years ago. Um, isn't that cool? I guard it with my life. I guard it with my life. It stays in this drawer and she had a comb my entire life a comb uh, that she used for everything uh, I mean she not for everything she used it to comb her hair but she had it forever and it was pink and it had a the little teeth the rats in what's that called like a rat tail comb and when she passed away I took her comb and her mirror And I have a teenager and she lost that comb. So sad. All those years my mother had it and that daughter of mine, I don't know what she did with it. You do not, Teresa. Are you serious? <gasps> Are you serious? How funny that I just showed that. Well, how cool is that? Oh man, I got a hair. Cause there was a hair. Uh, 
That is so cool. That is so cool. I love them too, but that was my mom. So it's the only mirror she ever used. Like ever. She didn't even have other mirrors. And I have threatened Zadie. I've told her, do not use this mirror and do not take this mirror out of my bathroom. Ooh, my drawers get used a lot more than Matt's drawers, that's for sure. Because my drawers have had some life. It's showing some wear and tear. Um, I have brought over 50 hand mirrors back from England. Are you serious? Linda, what on earth do you do? Our sewing stuff seam ripper scissors and her needles. Oh, Susan, that's so sweet. I love that you have that. My mom didn't, she wasn't a, she wasn't a sewer, but she had a lot of beautiful stuff. I have a lot of her stuff, like my china cabinet that's in, anytime I show my dining room to you guys, and um, that's my mom's china cabinet. Um, what else do I have of my mom's furniture? Um, I have a marble top, like a, you know, like an entry table, really uh, ornately carved um, entry table. That was hers. I haven't painted either one of those things. I have promised uh, myself that I would not paint those things because they're out. You know, if they were ugly and they were my mom's, and but she didn't have ugly stuff. But if they were ugly, because, you know, we've all got a few ugly things from, from uh, that are sentimental, but, like, ugly, because maybe that, I don't know, you just have them. And then they're, you know, they're in your garage. They're stuck in your garage because you don't want to use it in your home. Then I paint it. And then I encourage my clients to paint them as well. I'm like, look, that who, that belonged to who, and it's sitting in your garage? Would you rather have it in your house? Yeah, but I want to paint it. Well, then fine. It's just going to sit in your garage. Okay, fine. We'll paint it. Oh, my goodness. My drawers really needed this. I would, I'm embarrassed. I'm so glad that y'all are not seeing this up close because they were, they looked bad. I mean, once you start painting, you realize how bad you let it get. Like, oh, are you a painter? You're a painter and you're over making everybody else's stuff look great. Isn't that how it goes? It's how it goes, you know? I'm a nurse. I never took my kids to the doctor. <laughs> I'm a painter and my house looks terrible. What did they used to say? Uh, a cop, what is it? A cobbler's children have no shoes or something like that? Isn't there a saying that's something like that? Something like that. Wow. Looks so good. I still got to do the sides. That side over there is no fun to do. This, the far side over there. Because there's no room. And this thing, you can't move this thing because, you know, it's a fix. It's got the sinks tied into it and the plumbing tied into it. Linda, are you still on here? Weren't you going to bring me something? I thought you were going to bring me something to paint. Um, who asked this? I'm concerned about the big, uh, let's see. I'm concerned about the big expense with using the small containers of paint. I have 30 cabinet doors. It goes so far. So you can order a gallon online, by the way. Um, and when you go to order online, which by the way, I didn't tell anyone, my link is at the top of this blog, at the top of this video. Sorry, this isn't a blog. At the top of this video, I have my link. That's my affiliate link. And um, Dixie Bell gives me a kickback when, when I inspire someone and they use my link to go order. It doesn't cost you anymore. Anyway, that link, if you click that, it'll take you over to Dixie Bell. And you, this is a 16 ounce paint. Um, and this is what we used at Becky and Johnny's house. They have an enormous bathroom, like really big. There were probably, oh my gosh, uh, well, big long cabinets like this. There were one, two, three, three big long cabinets, one big like uh, built-in, like a big giant built-in floor to ceiling, and another one on the other side. Um, it was a lot. And we probably used, I was going to say three, but we did, yeah, probably three of these. Uh, I think that one of these covers, is it 120 square feet, I think, of these, or is that the court? But anyway, I had her order um, 
a quart. Because we used two and a half, we ran out, and I told her just to order a quart so you'd have more than enough. But when we got on there, we saw that you can actually order gallons on their website. But you don't need a gallon. You do not. And that's what she said. She was like, oh my gosh, it goes so far. Like, we barely use any of that. So I was like, I know. It goes a long way. And especially when you're using, when you use uh, your water. When you spray a little bit of water with it, it really, really stretches the amount. You, you won't use much. Don't be concerned by that. Just, uh, I don't know what your square footage is, but it lists it on there. Maybe it's a quart that goes 120 square feet. I don't know. I'm mumbling to myself, but get yourself two quarts and be done. It, you'll be fine with that. You'll be shocked at how far it goes. So relaxing too. It's just so relaxing. Right. So that's that. Now that side's already dry. So I can actually scoop my little butt over there and get to work on that side. <clears throat> I need to do the ends though. Let's see. Um, shoe ma show makers. Shoemakers kids have no shoes. Yes, I knew it was something like that. I knew something like that. That's right. Uh, same as a mechanic. Yep. Never take. Yep. You're exactly right. Because I can nurse those kids. You're right. Oh, my son's on. Hi, Brody love. Hi, honey. Um, what cleaning process did you use? The white lightning. I used white lightning by Dixie Bell. It's a little jar. It comes in granules. You mix it in. I just put it in a spray bottle. Kind of like this. This is just water. Put it in a spray bottle. Um, I put like a teaspoon in warm water and shake it up. And then just spray it really well from the top to the bottom and let it all run down. And then I go and wipe it all up. And then I go back and I spray with just straight water so I get all the cleaner off and give it a shower. I call it shower. I just spray it from the top to the bottom and just let it all run down, wipe it all off, and then start painting. That's that. So same thing with kitchen, bathrooms. That's what we did at Becky's house as well. Um, can't finish things that need to be painted in her house. Uh, I know, Rachel. It's hard, right? You get pulled away. Hey, Teresa. Hi. You like it? It looks good. Thank you. Um, oh, Samsonite luggage. That's right. You were going to bring me a piece of luggage. You are right. I will check it out. How wonderful. Thing. It is really good. I wouldn't tell you that if it wasn't. I promise. There's lots of people on here right now that will vouch for that. For sure. Um... Melissa, yes, let's talk. Message me. Message me, my friend. Okay, Linda, I will look for you. Uh, a builder's house is never finished. I didn't answer your question about the why for my move. Well, I didn't know if you wanted to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to ask you something so personal. Here, I think I said, is it for your work? That's all. You don't have to tell me. Um. Uh, Oh, and you're bringing a cabinet. Did you tell me that? I don't remember that, but that's fine. Um, three, really, that's amazing. We'll check them out. I'm serious. I'm serious. Miss Lisa, hello. Um, I actually lost my job here on Monday. Oh, on Tuesday. My, yeah, I got a job in Nella. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, the timing of that, right? The timing of that. Oh my gosh, I just clicked and saw you said perfect timing. Perfect timing. Thanks, Brody. Thank you, sunshine you like. It needed a little freshening up. Hey, Brody, I wonder if I can bring you on. You want to come on, babe? You want to go live? Are you somewhere where you can go live? It's showing me that I can bring someone on down here on the bottom, even though I thought they got rid of that. Hey, Audrey, um, this is sawmill gravy. I use sawmill gravy. Very boring, right? But nice and clean. Uh, is that her? Oh, yes, Teresa. I have, that's what I drink my coffee out of. This one says three. I have a three and a four. I don't know why. Because I had four kids. They didn't have a one and a two. I don't know. Um, let's see. Did Brody ever answer me? Uh, 
painting a glider with Jacobsville paint? Should I seal it? And if so, with what? Chris, yes, you should seal it. You don't have to if you can wait 30 days. Oh, you're at work, sunshine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Brody's in Japan, you guys. He's in Okinawa. Uh, yes, you should seal it in a glider. Um, I would at least do satin. I would at least do the Dixie Bell satin top coat. Yeah, if it's going to get a lot of wear and tear, that a lot of people are going to be in it, um, kids around, I would use gator hide. That's tough. But otherwise, I would use satin. It does look crisp and cream. Uh, crisp, crisp and cream. Do I have crispy cream? I think I said crisp and cream. Maybe I have crispy cream on the brain. Why sawmill gravy over fluff? Um, we put fluff up here on the piece. I did. I started out, Susan, with four different colors of swatches, and fluff was very minimally. I mean, it's like no change at all. It it was so close to the uh, savanna mist that was on there that you could hardly even tell the difference. I just wanted it to be a little bit more ivory than fluff. That's why. That is why. Oh, Melissa, you're so sweet. Heard you say Okinawa. My daughter was, my dad was in the Navy for 25 years. He went to Okinawa several times. They love it over there. They love it. Oh, thanks, Audrey. Thank you for that. Oh, Brody. Tell him how much you love it, Brody. Brody is certified. They all got certified for diving except for my grandson because he's too young. But my granddaughter is certified. Right, Brody? And she's 11. What can you use on the top that will last? Up here? I didn't paint up here. But is that what you mean? Up up here? Mm. I mean, it depends on what you do to the top. Is that... Am I... Am I the place is amazing. Uh... I mean, one of the top coats, either one of the top coats, satin or, but I, I would do gator hide. Again, I would do gator hide on the top, Sue. Um, I was certified scuba diver. Uh, I was certified scuba diver. They will absolutely adore it. Yeah, they, Sophie is. She did get certified. Oh, it's a paint pour. Yeah, I would do gator hide. Mm-hmm. Melissa, do you, don't you have my phone number? Can you just text me? I'm terrible with Facebook messages. Terrible. There's so many. Um, no, Charlene, because COVID hit. So they left in February, January, February. And COVID hit within weeks of them getting there. So of course we have not been there. In fact, we couldn't even go if we wanted to. It's completely shut in. Shut down. We are all divers in our family. Yay! Certified at nine. Um, I don't know. Colby is eight, so I don't know how old he has to be. Brody, how long does how old does Colby have to be? Or maybe, maybe he doesn't have to be a certain age over there. They're funny over there. They just do whatever they want. <laughs> Y'all hear my dog, Lucy? Stop. She wants to come in here. She she's so big. She'll be all over this. Um. Okay, you don't. Oh, 10 is the minimum. Okay. Okay, Melissa, just message me. I'll look for it. Uh, my daughter is stuck in the Netherlands still. Oh, my gosh, Teresa. But she never got COVID, right? She never ended up with COVID, but she's stuck there. I think Brody said that they're talking about opening it back up in April. I think is what he said. We missed them. What did you clean it with what? Hi, Candy. Um, I, oh, she did? I was thinking she didn't. I thought she didn't. She was self-quarantining because she had been exposed. Oh, my gosh. Bless her heart. Uh, I cleaned it with White Lightning. Dixie Belle has a cleaner, a really good cleaner, and it's called White Lightning. Um, and that's, I just give it a good shower with that. It's on the, it's on, if you follow that link over to the page, it, you'll see it under, I think it's under tools. I think you can find it under tools as the cleaner. Anyway, okay guys, well, I think I'm going to close. It is, I have been live for an hour and a half. That is insane. I haven't done this in a long time. Um, 
are rising over here, especially in my son's school. Rachel, where are you? I know, I do have to go. It's 8.30. <laughs> I can't believe I've been on this so long. I am looking for it. Oh, Candy, are you looking for it right now? It's called White Lightning. You could probably even just put it in the search bar. But if you go to, it's probably under tools, like under prep, prep work maybe. It's called White Lightning, and it's a jar, and it's crystals, and you just spoon some crystals into water. You can do two teaspoons to a gallon, but I do it into a spray jar like this. I just put like a teaspoon in a spray jar and shake it up and then spray it down really well, wipe it off, and then I follow it with just straight water, which is so funny that I say straight water because I think this says straight water <laughs> on my jar, on my little jug, my Jack Daniels, my fake Jack Daniels spray bottle. Uh, anyway, guys, um, thank you all. Oh, Hancock, West Virginia. That's right. And so the cases are on the rise. Oh, cause schools opened back up, right? Zadie's schools opened back up. She's in school. It's hard to find, is it? It's hard to find. Candy, sure. I hope you can find it. Let me know if you can. Can you use white lightning to clean the chalk paint after? No. My kitchen gets a lot of use. I don't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I would just use soap and water. Your kitchen gets a lot. My kitchen gets a lot of use. I wouldn't. I would just clean it to prep because it it uh, it's almost like a deglosser. It takes like a finish. It takes like the finish off. Yeah, I have a feeling as people you know with schools opening up and the you know with all the colleges, we kind of expected it right a little bit. Um, anyway, guys, well, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay healthy. Stay inside and paint. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was beautiful here today. It was so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So, um, let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me a message. Tag me in a comment here. Candy, let me know if you can't find the white lightning. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know that as well. Brody, I love you. If you're still on here, Melissa, I will look for your message. Um, thank you all for hanging with me for so long tonight. And, um, I'm going to wrap this up and... I'm going to keep moving. I'm not going to wrap it up. I'm going to keep moving and get it done. At least I'm going to get all the paint done. I might not put my finish on it until tomorrow. But tomorrow's my day off. All I have to do is write a blog for Sunday. Do y'all get my email list? Is everybody on my email list? Every single weekend I send a blog out to your inbox on Sunday. You're still looking for it, Candy? Okay, I'll send you a link. All right, I'll go into the comments and send you a link. Okay, Mwah. love you all. And we'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.